Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and we're going to do a little, hopefully, a little short video on duplicating or drawing something. I have a customer I'm working on a job, and while I was working on it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a little video. I, I brought in some clip art of this heart shaped lock and a key, and you can see how digitized it is. Well, you know, you need to convert it to a bitmap, and, and, uh, and a lot of times, in going back to that, let's just do this real quick. I didn't mean to do this, but let's say you convert it to a bitmap, black and white, and it's it's pretty good, and it it did pretty good. But let's tr let's back up here, and don't convert it to a bitmap. Let's just clip art, trace it. And it looks pretty good. It's got some grays and stuff. So maybe the bitmap worked really better. But I need to clean this up. So let's just go back to where the bit to where it converted it to a bitmap. And it needs a lot of work. And the heart is symmetrical on both sides. So really the only way to clean this up would be to go through and, you know, change it and, and, uh, try to make it equal on both sides. Well, this is something I do quite often, and it to me it really helps. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but what I did, I, I took an indexing line and I drew it. So I got halfway through this project, and I thought I'm going to make a video. And I erased everything on this line, because I don't know if you know that. You can, you can draw a line and take your virtual segment delete key and just cut away everything on this line. It won't cut that side of the line. It's kind of like a stopping point. And it doesn't have to be an index line. It could be a, you know, it could be another line. Uh, any kind of stopping point is going to cut it, stop it. So you can, you can cut away all those lines or, you know, break them apart and take them away. <clears throat> well, by doing half of it, and let's just look at it here. So this is the way I'd clean it up and I'd go through and I actually redo these circles a little bit and, you know, I'd go through here and break it apart first, go to my shape tool and, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. It doesn't look bad. Now I've cleaned it. So what I've done, I've already cleaned this one up, but you know, like I say, well, maybe that one's a little too close to there and and uh, give a little bounce to it and uh, get that away from there and, and clean this up. Anyway, so what you've done, you know, you've been working on this thing for 30 minutes and you start working on the other side and you work another 30 minutes and then they don't look the same. Well, all I do is take it now, let's group it back together Let's fill it in with some black, take away the outline, make a duplicate with control D, hit your mirror image. And this is where I like to use the cursor keys because the cursor is going to move it over equally or evenly. And it needs a little bit of work to take out this line. But as you can see, now your heart shaped block, and I still need to draw the key in it or the key part and maybe clean that up right there but you've done both you know if you've got something that's you want equal on both sides instead of taking the time to clean up both sides just clean up one side and mirror image it and then put it together i hope that helped and thank you for